A live look here at uh, Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport as the air traffic rebound post COVID dubbed revenge travel shows no sign of waning. And if you've done some of that traveling, you know, airplanes are packed and so are Hartsfield Jackson parking lots. One Atlanta City Councilman wants to know, does the city need to build a second airport? Not so fast, says the airport general manager. Fox Vice More Stiggs tells us the city has options. If you don't travel internationally, you may never have been over to this eastern side of the airport. This is one location where airport managers say the airport can grow in lieu of building a second airport. Is a new airport realistic? I mean, it's been talked about forever. Atlanta is in such a strategic location, travelers from surrounding states drive to Hartsfield Jackson to catch their flights. The next stop is for T Gates. Will future demand require the city construct another airport? Dawson County has been discussed as a potential location. The city of Atlanta owns 10,000 acres there. Ballroom Biadari B is the general manager. Right now, based on our uh, future forecast, this airport is sitting in a good position through the year 2035. B said you were in great shape until 2035, and I just wondered what happens in 20... So that's with the current existing facility we have. Correct. So if we have to grow this airport, we look at, and right now I have uh, uh, commissioned Frank to move forward with a new master plan. And if we do grow the airport, the airport will grow towards the east, another concourse, a train expansion. Airport executive Frank Rucker is the point person for figuring that out. You still got room to go east along uh, Manny Jackson uh, International Boulevard, and we're actually doing a lot of development on the south side, so we're trying to gauge is there going to be a six runway or are we going to take all that property on the south side and develop that. In factoring in the capacity, one of the things they're looking at are the number of flight operations. They're actually down because of airline cutbacks, while the number of passengers keeps surging. From Hartsville-Jackson Airport, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.